after Kim Jong came into power, he literally, the country cannot afford the electricity. Probably electrified the fence, the entire border. Not only that, putting the machine guns with the guards, have a shoot to kill order. Whoever crosses, they don't even bother to ask you stop. They just shoot you right there. And not only that, he buried the landmines <laughs> on top of that. So there's electric fence, and then there's guards shooting to kill, and then past that there's landmines. Yeah. Entire country became a concentration camp. Entire country. And North Korea has one train for a long distance of once a month. <laughs> and like, here it would take like one hour to go to the other place. In North Korea, it would take a month at least to go, because there's no electricity. And sometimes people have to push the train. They have to push the train? Yeah. Traveling in North Korea is unbelievably difficult in living in North Korea. One thing that I still remember is, sister, my, my sister and I was walking by by the well. Like in North Korea, we don't have a switch. We don't have running water, obviously. We have to go to the well or river to bring the drinking water. And there's a young teenage boy, I think, lying down. And his intestines coming out of his uh, back. When you are really nourished, that thing all opens up. You got zero, zero fat. Every hole all opens. And, and it's a doggy, like dogs looking at his organs coming out. And he was just somehow conscious, begging for food at the time. He was begging for food while his organs were hanging out of his body. Yeah. And I don't know why he was a like, cancer off. And for nothing. That still haunts me to this day. Like, I don't know how I feel nothing at that point. And that just looked horrible. And because it's just the fact that he's alive and so much flies flying by on his organs and how he's somehow consciously begging for food. And I, I didn't feel anything. You have felt no compassion? No. Nothing. It was just normal? Yeah. It's, yeah, so that's, that was like daily life thing. And then in the hospital when I was 13 years old, I, my, my parents took me to hospital because I was a bad stomach ache. And then we don't have like x-ray machines. We don't have MRI, none of that. Just doctor wops your belly. And then he says, oh, we need to operate on her. I think her like appendix or bursting or something. So that afternoon, they, they come me open without any anesthesia. And by it's normal thing, people in North Korea operation without anesthesia. But the, the chances of you going to surgery is a lot higher for you getting infected because we don't have penicillin. The nurse is using a one meter to inject every single patient. So who do you know what the other person has? You get from actually more sick by being in the hospital. Right. And this is where we don't, of course, have an indoor bathroom for the patient. We have to go outside. And in between there, there's a piles of dead human bodies. And that's when I was seeing this part. Some are rats eating human eyes first, for some reason. <laughs>